Hey, good morning everyone. Patrick from Vicious Computers. And this morning, we're kind of setting up the groundwork for some testing later. With um, getting the new big 420 watt panels and seeing them outperform my best panels over here by 50 watts um, each, meaning you know, that two of those produce 400 watts one of these produces 420 watts, but yet my real life numbers, I was seeing that panel produce 100 watts more than two of those. Uh, I replaced these with those because these weren't performing the way that they should be. And uh, I contacted EcoWorthy about it and they said, hey, you know, these come from China and they get damaged in shipping. You might have a couple of bad panels. Here's a video with a multimeter, how to, how to measure and see if you got an issue and if you find that you have a problem with a panel we'll replace it for you well honestly i don't think it's a bad panel i i think every single one of these is not working to the performance level that it should be and today we're going to test it and find out for sure so instead of the multimeter i actually got a solar panel tester it does a lot more so instead of just doing like the short circuit current and all that stuff you actually can put a load on the panel and it uses an MPPT it, it's just a kind of a really cool device I tested it out yesterday so this is the de facto way of ensuring that we test these properly and there will be no excuse if we find that they're not performing the other thing I did this morning I just printed some labels for everything so what I'm going to do now is just go stick a label on every one of these panels and then later today when it's solar noon and we have the most sun, assuming we have sun today because it's kind of cloudy right now, we're going to run through with the tester, test every single panel, record our results and see if we have an issue. And at some point we'll test one of those bifacial panels and we'll test one of the new panels as well. So we have a point of reference if those panels provide us with the maximum or close to maximum power that they're supposed to place and these don't well there you go so don't know what the video is going to be called yet if it's going to say you know don't buy these or if it's going to say i recommend these but we'll find out later all right so yesterday didn't go as planned um the sun just decided it wasn't going to come out but today we're getting sun <clears throat> it's still popping behind the clouds here and there but we'll We'll work around it. So today's video, yesterday I washed all these panels because I wanted to make sure they have 100% performance and they get dirty very easy. I don't know why these particular panels get dirtier easier than any other ones I have. Labeled them so that way when I do my testing I can write down which panel uh, performed for you know what and actually keep record of it. And if we find there's any outliers we can pull the specific panels that have an issue and we can contact the manufacturer and say, hey, we, we got a problem, you are right. There's a couple of bad panels that need to be replaced. Or I can post this video as a public service announcement and tell you to stay away from these because none of them are performing as they should be. So it looks like we're gonna have to wait for the sun a little bit. <clears throat> we'll be using a um, solar angle, angle finder to make sure that we have these things perfectly pointed at the sun. I got a new metal disconnect tool because I'm tired of messing with the cheap plastic ones. And I got this, which is an actual multimeter for solar panels, which will actually manually or automatically let you test them. <clears throat> Seems like a way smarter way to do it than the voltmeter, especially because it can actually put a load on the panels. put on automatic <clears throat> this thing is perfectly facing the Sun we have full Sun it's <clears throat> so this panel 4 it'll keep rerunning the test but you can see it's saying 119 watts the VSC which is the figure that EcoWorthy asked me for is about the 20 volts that it should be but you can see the amps you know it's only you're only getting 16 volts under load, 8 amps, 120 watts of power. Keeps running that test. So let's go ahead and 
and make our notes so we can compare all this at the end. Perfectly dead center. <clears throat> I kind of got this figured out. I've been, you know, obviously aiming these panels for a while now. So is this going to test the same, better or worse? So panel one. Yeah, look at that. Completely different. Same panel model, different condition, uh, same condition, same age. This one's reporting more power. <clears throat> it said 180 watts. Originally, we got away for the sun. Panel three, both by number and the third one we're testing. All right, panel three is really really messed up only 100 watts on this one so here's the thing eco worthy said give me the VOC if the VOC is not 20 volts we have a problem we'll replace it but you can see the issue we're having with the performance is not the the voltage we're getting mostly the voltage it's the amps this one's only getting 6.5 amps when it's connected and so it's only producing 100 watts of power and I just washed these, but I see there's just a little bit of stuff stuck on here. Definitely not enough that it should cut a hundred watts of power, but we're going to clean it just to be sure. Okay, let's test it again. It's perfectly clean now. Let's see if we break that hundred watts. Is it really that big of a difference if it's got a few spots on it? I doubt it. The other panels don't do that. Yep, 108 watts. It made no difference. This is super defective. So panel three is ridiculously defective. Panel one is below spec, but maybe not defective. Panel four also defective, only 118 watts. That's how we're going so far. Perfectly center. Originally, I was planning on bringing a towel or a blanket out here to cover the panels when I connect them and disconnect them, just so we don't have um, hot hot lines. But the power is so low on these that I'm not even worried about it. So panel two, we're currently testing. 150 watts. 150. Out of 200. 16.5 on the volts, 9.1 on the amps, and the VOC 19.8. So uh, still way well below where it should be. We, in this hot Florida sun, we should be getting almost a full 200. Panel five. We're going to have to be careful about how we do this. Man, these 
always get hot. Let's make sure we get our alignment. We do. All right, I'll give this one a minute with the full sun. Let it test a couple of times. All right, so panel five. hundred and fifty three watts this is pretty much the pattern right almost all of them are at least 150 or under only one has done better than that I think 16.5 uh, for the voltage 9.2 for the amps and the VOC 19.8 And once again, make sure we're in the sun. We're perfectly on the dot. This is panel six, which is the last one. Oh, look at that. We got a good result. So you know that they can work. This is what a good panel looks like. Panel six is reading 195 watts. That is acceptable. 17.58 for the voltage. Amps, here we go, 12.23. That's the number that we should be seeing on all of them. And the VOC is 20.15. So it's the only one that actually, I think, broke the 20. So that's kind of cool that the last one actually came in spec or really, really close to spec, right? Um, I can tell you that these 195 watt by facials are doing great. And these new big ones I got to 420 watts are doing great. These are the only ones that are not doing well. I was going to hook up another panel to test it and show you this meter is accurate, but the last panel here actually tested okay. So we can kind of keep uh, skip that step and just use this video as the evidence for EcoWorthy to fix these panels and I'll share it with everyone else on YouTube if I need to because I don't want you guys buying something <clears throat> that's not worth your money. So this is Patrick from Vicious Computers and I'll see you next time.